this video, we are going to learn about DNA, where it is found, and what it actually is, and what it is made of. All living things have DNA, or in the case of some viruses, they have RNA instead. DNA stands for deoxyribon nucleic acid. Let's start with where it is found. Most cells are eukaryotic. Animal cells, plant cells, and fungi, etc. Inside eukaryotic cells, you have a nucleus. Within most nuclei, there are X-shaped chromosomes. Chromosomes occur in pairs, but the number of chromosomes change depending upon the species. Humans have 23 pairs, elephants have 28 pairs, and carrots have 9 pairs. DNA is found within these chromosomes. Archaea and bacteria are prokaryotes, and because they do not have nuclei in their DNA, it is located in their cytoplasm. So what is DNA? It's a large complex molecule that carries the genetic information that determines the characteristics of living things. And other than identical twins, we all have our own unique DNA. DNA contains lots and lots of sequences. Some sections of these sequences have a specific genetic code for making particular proteins. And these special sections are called genes. A gene is just a short section of DNA. And because each gene codes for a specific protein, it is in these genes that give us our individual characteristics, such as whether you have blue eyes or brown eyes. Proteins are the building blocks of life. And as our genes code for specific proteins, this is how DNA controls our body and helps us to survive, develop and reproduce. But what is DNA made up of? DNA is made up of lots of molecules called nucleotides. DNA is a polymer because it is a large molecule composed of repeated subunits, the nucleotides. Each nucleotide contains a phosphate group, a sugar group, and a nitrogen base. When people think of DNA, they usually think of these bases. There are four bases, adenosine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. But just remember A, T, C, and G. And it is best to remember in this order, A, T, C, G. Because A and T bases pair up, and C and G bases pair up. The bases pair up forming hydrogen bonds, and the DNA forms a twisted shape that is known as a double helix. So there you have DNA. You should know that it is usually found in the chromosomes, within the nuclei of cells. It is a polymer, and it is made up of lots of nucleotides that contain bases. There are four bases, A, T, C, and G, and the bases pair up as A, T, and C, G.